Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words, become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're breaking down a short story from my book, uh, Clarity, 101 Short Stories, Essays, and Insights to Improve Your Communication Skills. And this short story is actually a blog on my website, uh, ArmaniTalks.com, which is, is watching movies a hobby? Think about that. Is watching movies a hobby? Now, the reason that I initially wrote this blog post in the first place was because your boy was doing a little bit of keyword research uh, using one of these tools. And I noticed that a lot of people were asking this question. Is watching movies a hobby? Now, if you're someone that is hardcore into self-improvement, immediately you have vilified movies. You're like, of course not. I mean, some of the most corrupt stuff are happening from Hollywood. Uh, it's a waste of time. You should be doing something more productive. Now, I have a completely different perspective in regards to this. I would like to give a very balanced approach in regards to movies. I believe that movies can be a hobby depending on what you're trying to do in your life. And let me take it back a couple of levels. Let's imagine that you're someone that's watching a lot of movies, but you're trying to become an engineer in your life. Is this productive? I don't believe so. I believe every human being should have a certain period of their day where they're resting. So if they're watching movies during their rest session, then you could say it's productive because if you're not resting at all, the chances of burnout increases. But if this aspiring engineer only watches movies throughout the day, then this person is wasting time. Now flip it. Imagine that this is a person that wants to become a film director. If they're watching movies at this point, are they wasting their time? Even if it's not in the rest session, they're just watching it throughout the day. Is it wasting their time? No. Martin Scorsese, one of the most famous film directors of our time, says that he watches roughly two to three films a day, if not per week. Why? Is he just consuming it as a um, um, mindless consumer? No. He's consuming it very mindfully. He's noticing how the different characters are brought into the reality. He's noticing certain ways that the camera angles are being used in order to amplify the story, the lighting, uh, the conflict, and much more. So he could get these lessons and bring it into his stories. Now you may be thinking, well, I'm not trying to become a film director, so movies are a waste of time for me, right? It doesn't matter if you're trying to become a film director. The question is, are you doing any, anything storytelling related in relationship to your life? Do you have to create stories for your conference calls? Let's say you're the CEO of a business and you can be boring people with PowerPoint presentations. You need to have a story that captivates someone. Are you someone like that? Do you have a YouTube channel that you run? Are you thinking about writing a fiction book? If you fall into anything that requires some form of storytelling, then watching movies, in my opinion, is not a waste of time. I believe you can learn a lot from uh, Netflix, from Disney Plus, Hulu, which by the way, I'm completely aware, uh, this is a very blasphemous thing to say, especially if someone is uh, doing self-improvement. But here's how I look at it. These different media companies, they're spending millions of dollars on writers, on storytellers, on film directors, on a camera crew, on agents, and much more in order for them to create a story that they've done a lot of research on, by the way, that will compel a group of people on planet Earth. If I could just watch some of the final product, then I am leveling up and building a competitive edge for Armani Talks, which uh, covers a lot of short stories that will help engineers and entrepreneurs improve their soft skills. So I really do think it comes back to the intent. I believe if you're doing something that is creative in nature, 
then watching movies is not a waste of time. Now granted, uh, if you're just watching movies, then it can easily be a waste of time. But if you're strategically pulling out a movie every now and then uh, to see um, lessons that this movie has, huh, what exactly is the difference between film, uh, between Hollywood and Bollywood? Why does Bollywood randomly just have people dancing in the movies for? What gives? Why do Japanese films, why are some of them so visual, and so gruesome? By asking these questions, you could get these lessons and apply it to your own stories. This is a comp competitive advantage in my opinion, and it's something that people don't even consider because they're too busy judging. They're like, well, I'm a self-improvement guy. Movies are something that I've just thrown out a long time ago. View it from the right angle, and I believe that you will see something that you were not initially seeing before. So my final verdict is that Strategic movie watching can be a hobby in its own right. So if you enjoyed uh, today's breakdown of movies and you want to get a, a fair and balanced approach towards uh, content creation and communication skills in general, be sure to check out Clarity. Within this book, you will get more insights on public speaking, on storytelling, social skills, and much more. Uh, check out the book in the links in the description box, the pinned comment, or go on ArmaniTalks.com and grab your copy today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you next time.